You'll need six balloon shapes cut out of paper. I'm using A4 paper and I've decided to swap out some white bits for some coloured pieces or leftover wrapping paper. Now I need six balloon shapes. So I'm just going to fold all of my bits of paper together at the same time. So I fold them in half and then fold them in half again. I'm going to cut a strip off the bottom of my paper approximately three centimetres up from the bottom and then making sure that my folded edge is on one side I'm going to cut half a balloon shape there is a template that you can download in the description for this once I've cut all of my balloon shapes out and opened them out um, I've got to think about decorating them so here I'm going to use glue and tissue paper to collage different patterns onto my balloon shapes but you can use pens or you could use paint whatever you want really once you've decorated all of your six balloon shapes then you need to think about attaching them together take a balloon shape fold it in half and cover that half with glue. Then place another one of your balloon shapes on top and cover that with glue. And then place another balloon shape on top. So you should have a kind of corrugated effect. Then you're gonna repeat this with the remaining three. So you should have three in one section and then three in another section. Sticking them on top and covering them with glue to stick them together. The next bit we need to think about making a basket for our hot air balloon. So I'm going to take a strip of paper, the strip that I cut off the bottom of my paper earlier. I'm going to cut that in half and then glue them together so they make a kind of X shape, like a cross shape. So popping a bit of glue in the middle of one of the strips, I can lay the other one over the top. Then I'm going to fold those um, edges up to create a box shape. You can just add tape around the edges of these, but I'm going to grab another strip of paper, cover this with glue, and then stick it around those folded up edges of my X um, on my box, just to make sure that it stays up as a box. You could use different coloured paper for this if you wanted to, or decorate it. It's entirely up to you. So now I've got a basket and I've got two halves of my balloon. I need to attach it together with string. So I'm going to take a piece of string, run a length of the string and make a loop and pull it back again and do that twice. So I should have two longer loops and tie a knot at the end so that there's something for me to hang on to. And I'm going to take some glue, spread it onto my balloon shape and stick my string down onto the balloon shape. If it's not quite staying, you can always use sellotape to help with this bit. And then covering the rest of it with glue, I need to just sandwich those bits of balloon shape together. Making sure it's stuck, I'll then repeat this process on the other half. So lay my string down, cover that area with glue, make sure it's really well stuck and sandwich the other half of my balloon together. I can open out my balloon so it starts to create a kind of 3D effect. I should have my two loops coming out the bottom of my balloon and these I'm going to attach onto my basket using sellotape. So again you could go from the top or the edge of the basket like I have here or from underneath the basket to hold it in place. Make sure your basket's taped on both sides so it's evenly balanced. Then you need to think about who's in your hot air balloon. Have a look at our YouTube channel for ideas of how to make simple puppets. The egg box ones would be perfect for this. What do you think would happen to a hot air balloon if it didn't have a pilot? <laughs>